Jerry, what's an EDM? I, I, I don't even understand it when you tell me what it stands for. So an EDM is uh, electrical discharge machining uh, apparatus. Electrical discharge machining. <laughs> electrical discharge machining. <laughs> Genius! It's an MD. So EDM machining is very good for machining metals that are very hard and you couldn't get in with a normal machine tool cutter like a drill bit. You have to slowly chip away with them with sparks, a spark discharge. And I put together an EDM machine from a conversation that I had with our good friend Ken that uh, contributes often to our show. And he told me about how he would bore very tiny holes through razor blades, which are stainless steel, so that he could make a, a special type of cleaving cutter type device. And the way he did it was he took an, a, a solenoid, hooked it up to a power source, and it had an armature that would go up and down inside. And then the other side of the solenoid, he would hook to an electrode. On his setup, he would use tungsten. On my setup, I'm going to just show spring steel. And then his workpiece, which would be the stainless steel, would be grounded. So when this armature falls out of the solenoid and touches the workpiece, it energizes and pulls the electrode away, causing some uh, sparking to happen. And slowly, it beats its way through the workpiece. And you put some oil, a drop of oil in this area to, to help remove the debris and the the small bits of metal. And uh, here I'll show you a prototype that I put together out of a doorbell. <laughs> Come in! <laughs> so here we have the electromagnet. I have power hooked to it. And then the other side of the electromagnet is hooked to the electrode and the electrode's piece of spring steel that runs down to a razor blade that I've got clamped in here and then the razor blade is hooked to the other side of the power and if I turn power on to this you can hear the uh, the noise that this is slowly eroding its way through the razor blade and I'm going to turn this off. We already eroded a hole through it earlier. And I should be able to shine a laser through so you can see. Wow, it's a laser razor. It's very good for going through hard materials. You can also use different types of electrodes. So you can carve out an electrode with graphite in a particular shape and put it in a similar apparatus and have it slowly carve its way down into a block of steel. They also have a type of EDM which is a wire EDM which has a constant feed of wire that's moving and it's kind of on a plotter so it's slowly moving through huge blocks of, of stainless steel or other materials just slowly sparking away little bits of metal. So this is a way that you can make your own home EDM machine. Pretty easy. Uh, that would be good for engraving your name on something, I would think. Certainly, you could carve your name into a graphite electrode and then just let it uh, spark its way down into a piece of metal. There's a lot of applications. Power, how much power are you using in that, Jerry? Is it just plugged into the wall? Is it? Uh... Oh, great, great question. That's actually hooked to my lab supply, and it's running about one amp at five volts. Oh. It, it depends on probably on the solenoid you use and so a few variables probably the size of the electrode you may have to you know, use more current to improve this a bit more it would be nice to have something to stabilize the electrode down closer to the workpiece it could i mean you could work your way through another razor blade and then use that hole to stabilize the electrode or use a piece of of uh, low resistance, a low friction plastic. 
I, I want to mention something that, that uh, I think clarifies how this is working because it's easy to think of a solenoid as something that's hammering away at something. But it's going the opposite way, isn't it? It drops in w at, with very little force, but it sparks. And that's the erosive thing. And as soon as it's ready to, as soon as it's powered up, it pulls back just a little bit so that it's always sparking. But there, it's, there's not a forward force being applied. It's just there's a backward. There's a little bit of force. I mean, it does make physical contact. Yeah. So th there's a, a little but mechanical. But that's not the story of what's going on. Yeah, the majority the is the spark. The spark. <laughs> Another example, you see this this kind of erosion and migration of metal in the points of cars, these old cars that have points, the metal actually migrates from one side of the the points to the other. You'll see a pyramid growing on the other side. So that's probably also an effect of the electrons traveling in a particular direction through the, the contacts, forcing yes, the metal the to go pivot. one direction. 